Hello, this video is a small portion of a complete comprehensive video. If you'd like to see this complete comprehensive case and many other complete comprehensive cases, click on the link in the description below. In the mandible, I place full crowns on the bicuspid teeth and then veneers on the mandibular anterior teeth. And I'm reducing the occlusal surface of the bicuspid teeth approximately two millimeters. And this 330 carbide burr is two millimeters from here to here. So that's just my depth cut so I know how much to reduce. This is just an occlusal reduction burr. So I'm not having to think about how much occlusal reduction I need to prep because I've already got, I've got the depth cuts and I just prep to the bottom of the depth cut. This is a coarse barrel diamond and I'm reducing circumferentially around the, the teeth about a millimeter, if possible. Now, if there's a big super bulge on the tooth, on the palate, the lingual, or the facial, then I'm not going to reduce the entire surface of the tooth to create, to uh, reduce a full millimeter and a half in the gingival one-fourth of the tooth. I may just have a lot less because I don't want to cut that much tooth structure away. See, normally there's a super bulge on the facial of the bicuspid, so I'm not going to reduce the entire super bulge, which means I'm not going to be prepping into the tooth in the gingival one-fourth more than about half a millimeter. This is a mosquito diamond to open the contact. I want to prep past the contact gingivally. I'd like to keep this super gingival if I could in approximately, but I want to break the contact. This is a flame-shaped diamond, and this is a, a chamfer, a small chamfer fine diamond. And I'm using that to place the margin. I want to place the margin about a half millimeter subgingivally. Now, if the tooth is not in the aesthetic zone, meaning any posterior tooth, normally the, the gingival one fourth to one half of the tooth is not displayed when the patient smiles or talks. You don't have to worry too much about getting the margin subgingival. Whereas in the maxillary anterior teeth, you've got to think about prepping subgingivally. So I want all those margins in the maxillary anterior teeth back to probably the first molar to be prepped half a millimeter to a millimeter subgingivally because the maxillary anterior teeth and the bicuspid teeth and sometimes the first molar teeth are in the aesthetic zone. Now I'm prepping the teeth for veneers. This is a coarse barrel diamond and I want to prep the teeth for veneers approximately. First I'm cutting them back into the arch, correct arch alignment. If you've got a tooth that's facial verted you want to cut the teeth back into the correct arch alignment, then the veneer preparation begins. So first cut them back into the arch alignment where you look at the teeth from the, the incisal surface and the center of the teeth should be in the same arch alignment. Then once you've accomplished that, then you can begin the reduction for the veneer, which is about half millimeter from the alignment when the teeth are in the correct arch alignment. And I'm cutting between the teeth and approximately, and I like this burr because it has a straight side. So I want to cut straight between the teeth, and I like this particular burr for that. You've just got to be sure that these preps, the interproximal preps and the facial prep, draw. So the provisionals will draw and the veneer will seat. Now if we've got this part of the tooth contacting, the gingival one-fourth of the, the teeth are contacting, then we'll come back with a mosquito diamond and break that contact. You can see this part is still contacting, so we'll come back with a mosquito diamond and break that contact. The mosquito diamond also has straight sides, so you know everything, see there's a mosquito diamond, so you know the prep will draw. Then I'm going to come back with a flame-shaped diamond once I've broken the interproximal contacts. And I'm not trying to prep deeply into the tooth, about a half a millimeter. And then remember, you've only got about three-tenths of a millimeter of enamel 
in the gingival one-fourth, the incisal preparation for veneers is flat. Don't round the line angle on the lingual. I'm going to check the occlusal reduction, and this is the reduction. I've got about a millimeter and a half clearance. You can see how these were super gingival margins on the bicuspids. That's the dental minute. These techniques work, and they work every time. Are you ready to take your dentistry practice to the highest level possible? Of course you are. Subscribe right now to DentistryMasterclasses.com where you will get Dr. Cupper's greatest work and best cases. Here's what you're going to get when you subscribe to DentistryMasterclasses.com. Incredible comprehensive cases not seen in Dental Minute videos. You will get an organized library of all the Dental Minute videos and Dentistry Masterclasses, comprehensive cases for study and reference before and after photos of Dr. Cupper's fantastic restored cases. Cases. And all of this, I repeat, all of this is just $40 a month. This is something you cannot pass up. Subscribe right now to DentistryMasterclasses.com.